Just two hours drive south of Perth, the Collie River Valley is a playground for thrill-seeking day trippers and holiday makers alike. It's full to the brim with natural beauty and exciting ways to get amongst it, be it on foot or, as I'm about to find out, on two wheels. Lucky for me, my tour guides, Hinterland Escapes, have done all the hard work on this occasion. They've supplied the bikes so we can set about discovering the network of tracks and trails that has made Collie a mountain biking hub in recent years. So as you can see, I am absolutely no athlete, so I've chosen one of the easier trails out here in the Wellington National Park. If you're an experienced mountain bike rider, of course, there are more challenging trails too. Or if mountain bikes just aren't your thing, you can always walk because these trails are all dual use. I better catch up. A lot of the tracks are quite well shaded and the cool air makes for a pleasant ride through the forest. And what's great about these tours is that you can personalise your journey making it as long or as short as you like. All right, let's lose these. <laughs> Gee, that was fantastic. It's obviously a great fun experience for people of all levels of ability. Yeah, the trail around here is really good for families and um, further up the hill there's areas for much more advanced riders, so there's something for everyone in the valley. Now, you tally your rides and, and tours for all people? Yeah, we do. We shuttle people out on the Mundabiti Trail, so we can take guys out 20, 40, 60 kilometres so they can ride back into the campsite for the day. And then we do half-day tours where people can then go and get a meal at one of the wineries or have a, have a nice cold drink after they've had some fresh air and exercise. I like that idea. Make the most of what's available locally, right? Absolutely. <laughs> now, tell me, what do people love the most about these tracks here in Collie? Well, the first thing out here is getting away from the cars and the traffic in the city. I think there's lots of really changing scenery. There's a beautiful river, um, the great, great scenery through the valley, so mostly the nature. You can get some wildlife, beautiful wildflowers in season. Yeah. It's just a fantastic fresh air place to be. Yeah, it's lovely. Thanks for bringing us out. Right. <laughs> After a ride, you can continue the fun traversing to Instagram-worthy sites like this one. This is Black Diamond Lake, an abandoned mine site about five kilometres west of Collie in Allenson. The bright turquoise colour of the water here has made this lake extremely popular on social media, meaning you will often see people here just trying to nab the perfect shot. Now, there's no camping allowed and oh, no toilets, so my tip, plan your trip to Black Diamond Lake well ahead. Check the local government website for latest water conditions before taking a dip, pack a few supplies and keep your visit to just a few hours at a time. And when it comes time for a break, the buzzing Collie town site is the perfect home base. For me, Collie strikes the perfect balance between thriving regional centre and charming country town. You can stop here in between your adventures for a proper city standard coffee and something yummy from a traditional country bakery. Oh, and how is this for the best of both worlds? Here in Collie, there's a stunning art gallery and a motorplex. So you can take your pick of whatever gets your heart pumping. For details on how to book a tour of the Collie River Valley tailored to your preferences, check out our website.